Hello, everybody. Welcome to our final best for last interview with the coaches with Mr. Josh Hartung. Uh, what's up? Round guys? of applause. Um, nice and quiet because I'm awkward. Josh is my most awkward employee and also my favorite. Don't tell anybody, but it's a fact. Um, I, think, I think everyone knows. I think okay. everyone knows. Yeah, it's fine. Josh is also my brother-in-law, if you don't know this. This is Cassidy, Cece's husband. Um, they have been married for like three years-ish? Two. two? Yeah. Almost two? Almost three? It's like two and a two and Three in April, right? Yeah, three in April. Three in so April. We'll go with that. I mean, it's only July. July so. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> um, Josh grew up in San Antonio. Hello, it is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know this. I know everything about Josh. Probably not actually, but he loves Land Cruisers, Toyota, cars, tools. Sure do. Yeah. This, <laughs> is, this is painful. <laughs> Um, so tell us how you came to be a part of Macrolics. Where do we start? Where do we begin? Where do we begin? So I came to Lubbock to go to tech. Mm-hmm. And then I was really bad at school. Mm-hmm. Story of my life. <laughs> well, not really a story of my life. I just really bad at situation. If you but missed in the other podcast, all of my employees are Texas Tech dropouts. So he is in good company. That's very true. But... I needed somewhere to work out because I couldn't go to the rec anymore because I didn't go to tech. And I decided to go to CrossFit Lubbock, which that's a whole other awkward story. Yes. Um, but <laughs> then I met Cass, and for some reason, which is very not like me. Yes. I decided to ask her out. On a date. On a date. On a legitimate date. And she almost said no. She did almost say no. Which, that's tragic. <laughs> I forced her. But then we were inseparable. But then she liked you. Yep, we were inseparable. And then David, I was going through some, I don't know, just identity, identity crisis, yes. trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And David. Josh offered. has an extended military family and had some vague desires, goals, I guess, yeah. to go into the military. And. David was like, no, no. <laughs> don't do that. You don't do this. You work with us. So we offered them a job at the beginning of our Airstream tour, mm-hmm. which was a whole podcast in itself. It was awesome. Yeah. Don't let, don't let the people lie Hindsight 2020, it was awesome. But if you would have asked us in the middle of it, this man would not have told you it was awesome. Or the beginning of or it. The beginning, or the beginning. Or the end. end. <laughs> <laughs> Two it, years out, it was great. <laughs> I don't know, the end, the end. The literal very end. <laughs> the last two weeks was, it, it technically wasn't even part of the Airstream trip, but yes. it was the best part. It was the best part. The part where we did live in Airstreams. <laughs> the, the, the part, the, well, the part where Hallie and David did live in Airstreams. I sold our Airstream before we even got home, so if that tells you anything about how that went, there's that. Um, Josh is um, our type one Enneagram. Perfectionist. He is the perfectionist. Everything is always in its place and very strictly abided by. We went hiking one time, and I am not a hiker. <laughs> and I almost died, and Josh had a spare water bottle for me. Always. So that gives you any indication of the person he is. And he was also the only one that peeked around the corner of Morrow Rock to make sure I hadn't plunged to death at that point so also another fun fact about josh so if you don't know that josh is the best you do now um so josh has been working with us since the babyness of macroholics and now he and cass are the head honchos the big the big ducks big kahunas big kahunas what's a kahuna i don't, I don't know what know. that is but it's fun to say it is fun to say it's like a no that's a chupacabra Y'all could be the big chupacabras. 
<laughs> kahuna. What's a kahuna? Let's hear. I've got my computer. Let's Google what a kahuna is for the people. We need. We, we need Jamie. We need. A, yeah, we need our own Jamie. Jarrett. Jarrett. What's a kahuna? <laughs> it's vulgar slang. Oh. Right. Wow. Cool. It, it also defines it. So let's just whoop move right on past uh, it. <laughs> avoid, avoid that whole situation. So if you've been saying big kahuna, you now know um, it's vulgar. So good for I re- us. I really thought it meant like head honcho. I did too, but it. Is there not like a, a different definition uh, that is uh, head uh, honcho? No, it's just the, the big. But what's a honcho? Now we got to know what a honcho is. Yeah. Honcho. Head honcho is. A leader or a manager, a person in charge. Where does it come from? I don't know. Where where have I heard Big Kahuna? I don't know. But <laughs> I, I feel bad <laughs> repeating it all over and over again. Well, it's just referring to male anatomy, so. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I guess that could that yep, could yep. lead uh-huh, to yep. big, also big boss, big yep. big man. All right. Next, all right. Next moving subject. on. <laughs> Well, we've been here too long. <laughs> we've officially gone too far. <laughs> no. um, Josh loves Shane Smith and the Saints. That is his favorite band. Shout love, out. Love is an understatement. It is. Truly borderline stalker obsessive. All right, let's not go there. <laughs> if you're listening to this, Shane, we're big fans. We would fly all over the country to see you. We, like, literally drive all over Texas yes. to see you. And to Denver. And, and to Denver. And various places we talk about going and don't go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're always like, oh, they're playing in Bend, Oregon. Let's go. Well, funny story about Oregon. Okay. Well, it was actually Washington. Oh, yeah. It was yes. when we were on the Airstream trip. I'm not sure where you're going with this, and I'm nervous. No, it was us, Cass and I wanting to see Shane Smith. Okay, yes. Uh huh. We like, really, really, that's like, it was literally like two months of our lives that yes. we listened to Shane Smith. Non-stop. Yes. It's still we were, we were in the car. Well, it hasn't stopped. <laughs> it's, it's going on like three years now. It's of non-stop still happening. Shane literally Smith. in their office right now. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> we had just like really, really gotten into listening to them. Mm-hmm. And we were on the Airstream trip. And we are like, we need to see them. Like, But we're on the other side of the country from where they usually are. Right. So we like looked at their tour dates. And they're like, Washington. And we're like, we're going to be in Washington. We're, we're actually literally going to be. In That's Seattle, so crazy. the same time that they're going to be in Seattle. Yeah, but big, big screeching but. halt. But <laughs> somebody misplaced their wallet the second day uh-huh. of the airstream trip. Yeah, and it was a 21, uh, 21 and up bar, and yep. neither of us had our IDs. Yeah. So, so long, womp, story, womp, womp. long story short, we were we were right next to them and still couldn't see them. Yep. Had all these plans. Funny story about the wallet. It was literally the second day. David, Josh, and Cass went to McDonald's to no, work. No, we went, we went to a CrossFit gym to okay, work out. Okay, they went to work out. And they went to a McDonald's because hashtag free Wi-Fi. <laughs> yes, which was um, a clutch on the Airstream tour. Yeah. We, we RV we, Wi-Fi sucks if you aren't aware. We did a lot of work at McDonald's and Starbucks. Starbucks. Yes. But we went to McDonald's and got food and worked. Back to our airstreams, and then Cass and I went to go buy something. And the wallet was gone. And the wallet was gone. And so we were like, surely he left it at McDonald's. So we went, went back, went to, back McDonald's, to McDonald's, looked in the trash can. I, I literally tore apart a trash can looking, looking for Looking in the shrubbery. Yeah, looking in, yeah, in the parking lot. Like, I think I like... I don't know. I, I really got on the nerves of those McDonald's employees. <laughs> we kept being like, I, I I'm certain it's here. I went like, in like three or four times. Yep. And I was like, are you sure it's not here? And every time they'd be like, no. No, like, it's literally no. not. Like, it's not here. <laughs> and I was like, this is the last place. It has to be that here. That I saw it. So it we finally gave up. Here. We figured somebody took it, and it was just gone forever. And every state trooper in every state that we... Uh, Ever were in, bless your hearts yep. for not pulling me over. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Because I was. Woo. So then, um, I guess it was about a year ago. We were in Dallas, and my dad got in the back seat of our truck. Which, if we only have one kid, and there's only one kid that sits back there, and uh, but Dad was riding with us, and he got back there, and he pulled down the center console to put his arm on, 
And he pulled it down. And my dad, if you don't know, my dad is just like a snooper. Like he just like is always into everything. And he like reaches from the back and hands, he's like, whose wallet is this? And I turn around and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is Josh's wallet from the Airstream. Yeah. So it was in our truck the entire time. The entire time. <laughs> Needless to say, everything I own has one of those tiles on it now. Yep. Like literally everything. And okay, also Josh, oh it's in gosh. his wallet. And if you don't know, if you're not familiar with tile, like it helps you like locate like a GPS tracker kind of thing. But you can push it and it'll call your phone or vice yeah, versa. Yeah, it works, it works both ways. Yes. It, it, you can go onto the app and find whatever you're looking for. Or you can, there's a little button on the tile and it'll locate your phone. And it'll Josh like play is some sitting music. on his wallet. And we were at Derek People's yes. his wedding. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, think, oh my gosh, it was it at was, an opportune moment. It was at a really, really good time. Like, doing communion. we were doing communion, everyone was standing up, there was kind of a lot of noise. Yes. And I just like shifted, and, and the wallet was in my pocket. And it pressed the button on the, the tile, the dang button on the tile. And my phone blew just starts up, blasting. blaring like this, like ringtone <laughs> to, <laughs> to, find, to find my phone. And it was. Like, devastatingly it was. awkward. And Josh, if you don't know, is just, like, not the person that wants that attention. No, not one bit. <laughs> so it was hilarious. It's gone off in multiple unopportune places. Like, it always, like... Doctor's appointments uh, and... Doctor's appointments. Very <laughs> quiet moments. <laughs> never fails to just up the embarrassment. That's right. It is just so fitting because Josh just gets beat red, and so it's so funny. So, yes, if you ever hear a very loud playing jingly noise wherever you are, look for Josh, because it's almost always him and his tile that he has to have, or he will lose his wallet. Yeah. But we'll also play very loud. But music. honestly, it, like, I think that it like, helps with bad habits. Yeah. Because I'm like never worried about yeah. where, where my wallet is. I'm just like, well, I don't know, find it if I need to. I'm like, whatever, I'll just press the button. I'll, I'll, it'll come to me. It'll just walk to me. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Well, um, let's see. I guess that's it. Josh is into Battlefield right now. Don't, don't let everyone know that I'm a nerd. <laughs> Stop it. We love Josh, if you don't know. He is a little bit of a nerd, and it's okay. So am I. I just got three books for my upcoming trip. And, That's uh, not a nerd thing. It's, it's like, kind of no, a nerd like, thing. <laughs> like, people who read books get a bad like get a bad rap for like being nerds, but like smart people read books. Well, like smart people play video games. Name one smart person that you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for that. Thank you. But and that's that's about all I got. But that's okay. <laughs> and I don't know, video games gets a bad rap, but. They're fun, and you enjoy them. That's all that matters. He's very handy. If you're watching this on YouTube, he's going to be um, installing before and after. Yeah, this wall will not be playing for that much longer. For an undetermined amount of time. <laughs> all right, I have all this. We, we just went out of town. Like we, I'm just we, kidding, all right. we just took a long trip out of town. Unexpected trip out of town. Unexpected. So, yes, we will be having a new backdrop mm -hmm. for our podcast coming soon. I am going out of the country, so we will have some intermittent podcasting fillers. So, um, probably going to have some random stuff happening here while I'm gone, but uh, might call in from Japan, might have Cass interview some people. We'll see how it goes, but... Uh, we just wanted to introduce you to our best for last coach, Josh. He is on Facebook, Instagram, um, email, whatever. You can All contact those him. I need to do better. Anytime. <laughs> Josh is it's interesting. Your your social media is a lot like you. Like don't want to call attention, but it's also really well curated, you know? Like it's not like everything Josh posts has like a very specific yeah, I, I find it. a lot of it's really hard for me to post. Yes, it is. Because like I'll get like all the way to about to post it, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> like, so I don't cute. like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> a little introvert, a 
Love it. Um, so, but yeah, if you ever have questions for Josh, want to hang out with Josh, want to talk about Toyotas with Josh, find him wherever you find him and hit him up. He is very fun. We love Josh. Thanks. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for making me seem cool. You are cool, Josh. You're the coolest. Other than we found out what kahuna means on live, live on air. So <laughs> that's, that's pretty much a good tagline for Josh's, Josh's podcast. So. All right. Well, we will see you guys next time. Y'all have a good week. Catch y'all later. Bye. Bye.